All right, so let's go to the GitHub and start looking at the software. First things first, make sure you uh, enable SPI interface. Uh, let's just run, let's just copy this and run it. Uh, probably I need to be pseudo, but let's just see what happens. Seems to be working. And I see that the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to set my size. And I'm looking at my, my packaging. Um, I don't have a size here. So I guess before you begin, you really should use a ruler and figure out what size you have. So let's take a look. Um, I don't know, I mean... I guess it's in inches actually, it's not in... Uh, I, I think that's 2.7 across. From here to here. Well, I couldn't help but to notice. Uh, so it finished. It didn't. It ended without any problems. It looks like there are no warnings or any uh, errors. So that's really good. Um, and I noticed that I could do either set or I could do a config. So I'm going to try a config. Oh, uh, so sudo. Papyrus config, and uh, I'll, I'll just see what that does. Oh, so let's zoom in on this. Okay, let's see. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, it reboots. <laughs> So be, be prepared, I guess it reboots immediately. <laughs> okay, so we learned something. Uh, when you do the uh, config, it, it immediately reboots after you change the screen size. So let's, let's run it again. I guess we have to enable the driver. Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna try that. I'll enable it. Going through the GitHub instructions, uh, there are some issues. You'll probably need to issue a couple of those commands as uh, sudo, uh, otherwise it won't work. Also, I had a difficult time trying to get it to even uh, work the first time, and it was really just after a bunch of reboots that it just seemed to work. Um, I did have one problem. Um, for the SPI interface uh, that I had to uh, track down and figure out, uh, but now it's working. Um, unfortunately, all, you know it installs everything as user and group root. So to run anything, here we are in Papyrus uh, in the in the bin, and if I want to run something, I got you know of course go sudo, and if I go Papyrus uh, uh, clock. Run. It actually does. It does work now. Uh, there was some issue with regard to it not working, and I was unable to figure out what I did to make it work other than a bunch of reboots. Um, but it does seem to work otherwise. Uh, the instructions are not super clear. If you want to break out of it, you have to literally break out with the control C, of course. Um, and again, if we go papyrus, uh, and, uh, I think, oh, let's do the temperature, see if that works. I couldn't get any of these to work before leaving, oh, yeah. So temperature has some issue. 
it looks like the I2C Git is either not turned on or, or whatnot. Um, Dash um, draw. Let's see. Oh, I have to give it a, a draw. I have to give it a, a, a file to draw, on the, which I didn't do. Which that's my fault. Uh, if I do G O L Game of Life. Oh, that's what that was. And it's doing the Game of Life with the bacteria, or whatever. So it, it works. And it's, and it's rendering it. Uh, frame by frame. So that works too. Okay. So everything's working. I have no idea. It didn't work initially. I thought it was... Uh, I don't know why it's working all of a sudden. I just did a bunch of reboots uh, and then came back to it. I, w I would do a, a video. And let's do write. Let's do hello world. Let's see if it works. Look at that. It works. Okay. So it looks like it is now good to go and it should be able to uh, work now with regard to with regard to uh, uh, a Python program. I, well, let's try the button program. I don't know what that does. Again, it was not working for the longest time and I just left and came back and it just started working. So I don't know if it was just the last reboot caused it to work or not. Let's see. So we've got here. Let's zoom in. So if I press this, that's four, one, two, and uh, three. Okay. So it all works. Perfect. Again, I just followed the, the, the instructions on the GitHub. The only modifications I did is I ran a couple of the later uh, commands as sudo. It doesn't explicitly say that. Uh, and then, of course, rebooted a number of times. I, I think I rebooted it uh, a, a couple of times before it seemed to, to finally take. So I, I don't know if that's was required or if it was just a hiccup. But it seemed to work. It seems to be fine and uh, all the binaries seem to work. I oh, can't see. Going through the GitHub issues, I realized I figured out what I did to get this to work and I did it by accident. And it was only after a reboot that I realized I hadn't fixed it. Um, and here's the issue. When I do a cold start, I have the exact same issue with regard to the EPD not being found. Um, and so it was pulling my hair out what to do. Uh, the OOS came up with this solution, seems to work pretty good, and, and that basically is um, add to the dot bash RC file uh, the following. So again, just in the terminal, go sudo nano dot bash rc go to the very end of that file add this line save it close it and, and reboot and you'll be fine and it'll work each time uh, that's the final uh, piece missing from this puzzle that fixes everything